Okay, so um, what this is going to be, if I've got this in incognito mode, so it doesn't come up with like previous stuff I've looked at on eBay, um, throw off the results, but I want to see what sort of gas masks, I think it was Snoz that suggested this and a couple of other people. I was planning on doing it earlier in the week, but I've had some sort of chest infection that's been really annoying a bit, it's clearing up now. Um, so it was going to look at what's reasonably priced on eBay in terms of gas masks at the moment and other like radiation stuff. And I'll do some other websites as a separate video, but we'll just do this one today. So let's search gas mask to start with and see what comes up. Right, um, so a GP5 for 20 quid, I suppose that's not awful compared to current stuff. Um, this seller looks like only army, they've got a couple of different masks, but we'll have to see... Um, how do I switch tabs when I'm... Um, I can't actually remember how you switch tabs when you're not in um, this mode. Oh, I can always crop it down. Um, so they've got a Belgian M51 for 15.99, an even older one for 8.99. That's a good price. Not that I'd recommend using that mask, just because it's a really old mask. Um, M1, I wouldn't really recommend, but it's a good price for it. That's a PMG or the Hungarian version of the PMG. Not bad for 9.99. Uh, that one's not coming up with a picture. That's a PDF for 7.99. Not too bad. And that Hungarian one isn't coming up. So there's a couple of different ones there that aren't too badly priced. Let's see what else is on some of these um, things coming up. So again, Hungarian PMG for 12.99, MC1 for 16.99. So some of these Warsaw Pact masks are already priced. Now that the reason that's GSR is cheap, 44.99, is because it's a size 4, but that actually fits most people that are small to medium. Right, there's, is that PMK3 there, by the look of it? PMK2 or PMK3? I think that's a, I'm not sure that's a PMK2 or PMK3, I don't think it's PMK1, uh, but that's not too bad a price actually, it's, but I suppose it's a starting bid. So starting bid or an S10 for 32 quid isn't that bad. Um, 85 again for that FM12 is a bit too much, but um, 32 quid if the bids don't go as high as that aren't too bad. 62 is a bit much for an S6 I'd say. Now with some of these industrial masks, some of them will be good, some of them won't be. Uh, that full shade is a really good mask, but I don't know if I'd say 89.99 is reasonable for it. That's quite good for an old GSR Mark V by the look of it. Now, if I remember, the reason that M17 there is so cheap is because it's a damaged one. If you wanted one as a wall display, that's not bad at all for that one. I think I looked at the listing before. No idea how good that mask is there that I'm hovering over because of the fact it reminds me a bit of the pewter ones that might be sort of chinese or it might be good. Aroma pump, oh dear, that's not something you want. Um, ah, now that's actually quite a good price for an M2, 24.99. So yeah, the M2 for 24.99 isn't bad. An MP4 by the look of it for £11.50. Anyway, yeah, so some of these ones coming up under gas masks aren't too bad. Let's just search for um, 14mm respirator. And um, it's mostly hoses at the moment. £200 for an FRR is a bit much. So that's mostly just coming up with filters there. So what, um, that's not too bad a price for those chinese masks there, but again it depends on the quality of the ones you get, like the TF ones or whatever they're called and the other ones. Uh, the Scott Aviva is very good for 32 quid. Again it's only a half face mask, but it's um, a very good half face mask. Right, um, not much else jumping out at me on this page. Again, be very careful if you get those 3D printed converters, because some of them are alright, some of them are awful. Um, anyway, let's have a look at, say, Geiger counters now, for um, sort of a comparison. Um, oh, that's a check source, this one. So that's £75 for a check source is a bit much, unless it's something quite rare. They even state what that is, because it looks just like a bit of metal. Um, a oh, one micro Q of radium two two six. So yeah, that's a bit much. Um, anyway, fifty quid for the NBC suits with the MD three meters is still very good. Uh, those Chinese ones are fifty four pounds, aren't bad at all. Um, 
what these ones are. They only go to 99.99 microsieverts, but they're not bad. Decimeter pens, uh, obviously be careful on here, there's a lot of stuff which is like EMF detectors, not Geiger counters. £6.30 for a check source isn't bad at all. Uh, 350 for a PDRM82 is a bit much. Um, that's pretty cool, an entire like, decimeter kit, but um, I don't think most people need 50 decimeters. Uh, see, that's a lot more reasonable, that 102 ones for the PDRM82D, rather than the other ones. But yeah, anyway, there we are. Um, a, over a grand for a therapy. I like the therapy, but I wouldn't pay that for it. So, yeah, we'll um, have a look again at some point. Oh, that's a cool thing. Um, that's the training meter. I've got one of those, but I haven't done a video on it yet. You won't be able to power it very well, because it takes really old, powerful batteries. GMC 500 is very good. That's not a bad price for it. Um, but yeah, those Chinese ones for sort of £50 aren't bad at all. Those um, ones that go to 99.99 microsieverts. The build your own kits are fine if, as long as you know how to do it. Um, what's that? DP66 I just passed. DP75 for £78 isn't bad at all, especially if it comes in the box. 250 for a DP66 is a bit much, but depends if you really want one or not, I guess. So anyway, um, that will be it for this video. It was one I wanted to get you know, done earlier in the week, but unfortunately, as said, um, you know, I've had this cough, you might even still be able to hear, I sound a bit throaty and weird, um, but yeah, um, I'll get this video uploaded now, but like I said, it seems that there are a couple of masks, if you're interested in the older stuff at the moment, which aren't too badly priced.